Now, we can also do another thing with these log concentration plots, and we can define something called the buffer capacity. We defined that before as the derivative of the alkalinity with respect to pH. Another way to define it is the resistance of the pH with respect to added base. So this buffer capacity can also be defined as the derivative of the pH with respect to the added um, moles of base, the pH, the base. And we sometimes take the reciprocal to make sure it's a big number. So whenever this is, this is a small number, uh, the change in the pH is not very much. If we take the reciprocal, it gives us a big number. So that means there's a big buffer. Okay, now we can draw this. Uh, whenever we draw, here's the, gra the graph, the same graph of the, uh, uh, the a weak acid system with pKa1 and pKa2. This is the um, bicarbonate system, carbonate system again. By the way, this was the same graph as the one before. Um, and we can draw the, uh, we can calculate what this is for this system. Turns out that beta on 2.303 is given by this expression. And if you look at this expression, you will see that the beta line, to draw it, it follows the topmost sloping lines in the graph. So here's, if we want to graph beta, a simple trick is to follow the H plus line. It comes down, it goes up, it passes exactly through the same point as this uh, intersection point. It goes down and it follows up again. So this line is following all the sloping lines of slope one. It doesn't follow this flat line, it doesn't follow that line, it doesn't keep going but it keeps going on the topmost slope line. That's, that's the meaning of this equation. And what we can see is that the buffer is very good. This beta has a local um, maxima around about this region, around the, about the pKa dashed. This is where the buffer is very good in this weak acid system. And uh, it also happens to be very, very good um, when the system is extremely basic. Well, that kind of makes sense because if, if the system is really, really basic, like nearly pH 14, adding a little bit of base won't change it very much, but that's not a really very interesting kind of buffer. Likewise, if the system is really, really acidic, if we add a lot of, if we add a bit of base, it's still gonna be really acidic. So the buffer capacity is very big when it's very acidic, but that's not very interesting either. What we're interested in is when there's a local maximum in the buffer capacity over here. So there you have it. The log pH diagram can be used to get the pH of a system uh, with major constituents there, or it can be used to get the pH, uh, the buffer capacity by doing this graph.